Hi guys! Today I want to show you another virtual pet by Tiger and this is called Giga Farm. So it's a Giga Pets Plus and this was released in 1997 and uh, I bought it off of eBay for $35 so and that was with shipping. So this is the box itself. It's orange, has the pictures of all the animals that you can take care of and it says that it has uh, animal sound effects which is really cool and it has a voice activation so it responds to your voice and a built-in nightlight and you can raise up to three plants or four animals at once and the back of it <laughs> there's a note from the seller so I decided to keep that It's kinda nice uh, and here's the back with another shell design and some of the other uh, Giga pets that were released by Tiger. So yeah, there's the package. And here is the instruction manual. It's quite extensive and detailed, but it's really nice since there are a lot of features in this one. So yeah, there are some screenshots of the animals. Really, really detailed and yeah, I like that about this. Some of the vir virtual pets have a really uh, it don't really say that much in the instruction manual, so this is quite nice. So yeah, on to the Gigapets, Giga Farm. Let me just reset it so you can hear all the animal sounds. So you start off with the clock mode, so I'll just have to set the time. Um, you just scroll through with the arrows left and right to set the time and press enter. And then again to set the minutes left and right with the arrows and press enter. And then you'll hear the sounds of the animals. So that's really cute. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and choose the horse. And then there is also a naming feature. I'm just going to, I don't know, just A. That's fine by me. Okay, so now you're in uh, the game mode. Now the shell, the shell itself. The, one of the differences between other virtual pets and this one is the keychain is at the bottom, and uh, the shell design is a clear one. I really like this. And one cute feature is also this one. It has retractable feet, so you can place it on a table or something. Really nice. Okay, uh, one downside to it is that the pixels aren't that clear so you can't really see that well. But let me show you the icons. You scroll with left and right arrows. The first icon is the attention icon which is a question mark and an exclamation mark. The next one is where the arrows are right now. This is the stats. So you press enter and here it tells your name. Uh, your overall score, your age, weight, and health, happiness, and hunger, and discipline. And here are the amount of seeds that you have of the different crops that you can plant. Uh, the first one is beans, and then you have corn, and uh, wheat. And the last one is compost. So whenever your animal poops and you clean it up, it adds to this number. So you can use it as compost. So that's the stat. Uh, one cool feature with this one is that you can enter codes. So if you want um, the cow, for example, you either it either it either becomes available when you have a hundred of each seat, or you can enter the code. Was it milky white? And if you want the sheep, you can enter the code ba ram you, Eve or you. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's really cool. And it also has a pause feature, so you just have to enter here. You press enter, and in the name feature, you just uh, enter stop, and it pauses it, and you enter normal to resume. So yeah, that's it. The next icon is the food icon. Here you have an option between uh, feeding it corn or wheat. Uh, corn is the meal while wheat is the snack. And uh, you shouldn't feed it more than two or three snacks a day. Um, 
that's not <laughs> it's not healthy otherwise and he will also gain weight um so yeah that's the food icon this is the game icon it's kind of like a sun but you can't really see it that clearly um you have to press left and right alternately to power up and he will go through diff three different animations he will walk run and jump the fence And there he is running and jumping the fence. So he made it and he's happy. Um, the next icon is a tractor, but this you can only use when you have uh, when you're in the crops mode or where you're in the field. So it skips that one and goes straight to this uh, moon. So this is when your horse needs to take a nap or sleep at night. And sometimes throughout the day, he will require a nap. Um, so that's the animation for that. So you press enter to uh, get him back. The next one is tricks. You can teach him different tricks. Um, so those are some of the tricks. And you have to do them. Uh, quite often at times he won't do what you say, but when he does the correct animation, you uh, give him a treat and he will remember that um, trick. And they reset each each day, so you'll have to do the same thing over the next day. And again, remember, not too many treats, it's not healthy. The next one is the discipline icon, which is like a, a cow that is mad. You can't really see that icon, but it's <laughs> quite, quite funny. Um, but when he doesn't want to do anything else, it might be that you need to discipline him. And then you have the shower icon, which is kind of like, I think it's a hose. But um, the animation for that is here. And he's happy. This also is when he poops and it cleans off the poop of his screen. The last one is the medicine icon. He's not sick right now, but this takes him to the vet. But I can show you anyway. So that's the animation for that. Okay, so that was the horse or the screen for the animal that you've chosen. Now to uh, scroll through the different pastures, you press the mode button and uh, here you have the clock and if you press the left arrow it will um, you have the sound on and off and the light, right button is the sound act activation on and off so and if you keep on scrolling it will scroll through all uh, the different pastures so let's choose the first one here you can choose which one you want to plant which one of the crops I'll choose corn and then the tractor will be available. And this is actually the food icon for the crops. So here you can choose to water it, which I will do now. And you'll have to do it um, some, a few times throughout the day. Uh, watering is like the food icon, while compost is like the treats icon for the crop. Uh, another option is uh, the harvest. Now with the crops, You'll have to um, plant the crops at, in spring, which the instruction manual says is between 5 a.m. and 7, 5 a.m. and 7 a.m. And you'll have to harvest. Um, was it at fall, which is between 3 a.m. Was it 3 a.m. and 6 a.m. or I think it was. So, yeah. And uh, the next pasture. You can just choose beans and the last one I'm going to choose wheat. So yeah, by pressing mode you scroll through all the different pastures and you have to keep up and check up on those throughout the day. But the crops aren't that difficult to uh, take care of like the animal itself. So yeah. Um, this is it. I don't
don't think I've left out anything else except the voice activation is right here, the speaker or the microphone. So um, whenever he takes a nap, you can uh, say something and he will wake up or tap on it. And when he's off screen, he will. you can tap on it or be <laughs> yell or something to um, get him to come back. So it kind of functions like a discipline icon or yeah feature. Um, I'm not quite sure about it. So I usually just keep that off. Um, so yeah, this is the Giga Pets uh, Giga Farm. I really like it. It's really interesting. You don't get bored that fast. Um, a really good, good one. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye. Now, of course, one other feature I forgot to show you was the lights. So, um, if it's dark out, you can press this button and it will turn on the lights and you can see what you're doing. So, that's also really neat when you have to farm early in the morning or late at night. So, yeah, that was it. Bye.